at Xena Warthog Princess and my special assistant, Kenzie. Kenzie. We are here to share a very special group of items that we got, but very first, we're going to try and call the cat for you. And while Kenzie's calling the cat with our uh, treat box. <laughs> it's his treat box. Yeah. She's going to call the cat and hopefully he'll come. His name is Olaf. Olaf is the cat, yeah. So while she's doing that, I'll just explain what we're looking at. So HICC Groom sent me some items in the past. I'll put a video link here for you so you can go back and look at that. But HICC, H is for health, I for innovation, C for clean, and C for comfortable. So HICC. And the way you pronounce it is hi CC. So it's like hello, clean, and comfortable. That's what they said about it. It contains the ingredient HCOL, and uh, we actually got several things. So we're gonna talk a little bit about HCOL while we're waiting for the cat to hopefully come. So HCOL, it's a, it's a cleanser, sort of. It's very natural, it's hypochlorous, or it's designed to soothe. It's non-toxic, non-allergenic, non- antibiotic, non-anything, but it's really great for helping to clean the cats and dogs. I had before the grooming mitts. This one is a modified mitt and some other things, uh, but they're all non-toxic. So you can use it around the eyes and the mouth. They can lick it. It's not going to hurt them. It's actually like a food grade type cleanser. It's the stuff that they use to clean vegetables elsewhere. So it is very safe. Um, let me see what else we got. It helps relieve hot spots, rashes, itchiness, irritation. Also helps to prevent those things. It gets the dander, helps to de, you know, get all the extra hair out. And there also is. I want to go and take in the house. Okay, well, she's gonna keep trying to get the cat. We'll keep talking about this stuff. So the new gloves have cat paws on them, which we're gonna see. And there's 715 eco friendly little silicone things, and those just help grab that hair and help to massage the cat a little bit. You can also use them on dogs, honestly. And so if we can't find the cat, of course Kelly's right here, she's always right nearby, and we'll use Kelly as a substitute if that's what it comes to. But they efficiently remove 95% of loose hair, according to the thing. It stimulates uh, blood circulation and helps with natural oil production and shiny coats. Um, they also sent a skincare spray which does the same thing. The HOCL has sterilization rate of 99.99, so it helps relieve pain and itching without disturbing the natural flora of the skin. It's very, very good for them. Non-irritating, non-allergenic. Um, yep, it just says non-stinging, safe if licked or ingested for use around the nose and mouth. Um, the spray is a little bit different than the gloves. The spray, you just hold away from the affected area. You kind of move the fur out of the way so you can spray it right onto the skin. And you can do that three to four times a day. All right, so let's look at the items that we got leading up to the gloves. So first thing, they sent this really cute little bumper sticker. I'm not sure my niece kind of wants this, so I'm not sure where she's gonna put it, maybe on a notebook or something, but it'd be perfect for her. So really cool little kitties. So this is a cat pack. Um, this is the spray, the pet skincare spray. And this can be used on dogs and cats. Cuts abrasions, acne, deodorizes, and helps with skin irritations. And there you go, let's see. Yep, the directions we just talked about. It is for external use, not for humans. Safe if licked by animal. It does have an expiration that says 2023, August 18th. Hypochlorous acid, 0.01% and deionized water. So very minimal um, and no alcohol. So we're gonna use this just to see. I don't think it has a scent to it, but we'll see. I haven't even opened it yet. And Groom, if you remember, has this, this is the Groom thing that's like a part of HICC I don't know where he is he's definitely out of range of the shaky shaky huh yeah. did you look over by the house the old house right here she's gonna look one more place
but Kelly is right here. <laughs> Trying to get this dog catchy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kelly's a big help. So this is what the spray looks like, just a little bottle. And it does have a little cap that you can put on. Wound and skin care antimicrobial, no alcohol, safe if licked. 3.4 ounce, 100 milliliter. It says recommended by veterinarians. I'm just to put it on my skin. Yeah, it, it has, just like those original gloves that I had tried, it smells ever so faintly like chlorine for just a moment, and then it's gone. It's, it's not chlorine, it's the hypochlorous acid. All right, other things we got. Now, we got this in a separate thing. Um, we got the Pup Science 501 Pet Wash. That's not from HICC, though, is it? Those are good things. But I did do a dog wash. That's the reason I brought that out. I will... Um, put a separate video about that. Uh, I look terrible in the video, so I'm not going to get the whole video, but maybe a clip of it. Uh, but back to the HICC stuff. Hello. Ah, she found a cat! Alright, so let's stop there and go straight to the gloves, because that Can is... Can you open the cat seat, please? Yeah. Not that one, not that one. I know, I know, I know. I need... Come and sit down. We have this kind of cat treat, which will keep him here a little bit longer. I opened it all the way, so you just have to squeeze slowly. Ah, right here. I am. Okay. Can you can you hold him on the table? You think? You got it. You got it. Okay. I can No, you don't got it. I don't got it. You got it. Okay, so you keep him right there. First, we'll try the spray real quick. He is so distracted by the tree, he won't even notice. But we'll just put it a little on his tail, maybe. That won't bother him too much. So I spray it on his tail. No. It's okay, kitty. I won't mess with you too much. He really loves those little treats. Ah! You're not squeezing it out. He's not getting any. There you go. Okay. So the gloves. Let's talk about the cat glove wipes. H I C C high C C wipes. So these are very easy, easy to use based on what I saw on the previous. So you open it up and there's separate pouches. There it comes with six in a box, so right here. And I keep trying to put that in the shade. So it's two halves. You have the gloves in one side and the liquid in the other half. There's a divider there, and then you just squeeze it. Maybe I follow the directions. Fold it this way. It's supposed to break in the middle. There it goes. So then you squeeze all the liquid down into the glove side. Hi, Kelly. You can't see her, but she's right here. Up, come on. Here she is. You can see a little bit of her. <laughs> yeah. You want some gloves too? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Can I what? We're hurry. Okay, but the gloves, we're just putting them open. Let's see. So now this is very drippy wet. It's okay. You're almost there. Go slow, slow, slowly. So here it has those little paws on there that we were talking about. And this looks like it's a left-handed glove. The previous version was either hand. This one is just this hand. Yeah, he's not real sure about that. Hey, you got buggy in your ear. There you go. Yeah, it's not so bad. Let's see if oh, it's I know, but it's okay. It's okay. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He'll come back. Come here, Kelly. So, he just was done with his treat, honestly. Come here, Kelly. Up. He still has more. Up. Hey. Up. Kelly. She's getting treat off the chair. Come here. You're making a crazy video. See, but Kelly doesn't mind. So, we'll just use it on Kelly. Kelly's not a cat, but same idea. She's had it before. And, like Kendi said, you can smell it initially, but once, once it's been a, like a second, it's already dissipated. Kelly doesn't mind at all. She actually quite likes the, the glove. And you can see that it pulls off a little of the just loose hair. Like I wasn't working it at all. But you can feel the little cute paw things. They're grabby. 
And so it's just a nice little rub down. So for my dog, she likes to roll in stinky stuff. So this is just a quick like hand wash. Like if you're traveling, it's great. So they don't have to have a full up bath if they just get into a little bit of dirty paws or something. You wanna try again? I don't think he wants to be held right now. He's fighting. He's not. He's not? No. Okay. He will as soon as I do this. Yeah. So, yeah, Olaf is an indoor outdoor cat, but he, he's a hunter. He's mostly outdoor. He comes in to eat and get love and sleep in the house, but mostly he just runs free. There you go. Okay, you can let him go. It's fine. So same thing, he's got a little bit more hair, just the loose stuff, but now he's cleaner. <laughs> it's fine. You okay? Did he scratch you? Yeah. So it smells a little bit, but like the smell of clothes not so bad anymore. Why are you licking my foot? The dog's licking her. Okay. Well, anyways, ah! Tickle, okay. I'm sweating. So, well, that was a fun adventure, huh? Yeah. I have cat hair on my nose now. Nah. Hey, what's this one? That's where I pulled it out of. It just has this stuff that got okay so we'll try again later but that's it for now um let's talk about the other things that we got with this we got where's the bag right here we got this little flea comb which is really cool you could use it to just kind of comb the dog or the cat but it's specifically got these really fine teeth so that you can pick out any fleas now all of these animals here actually take a monthly flea and tick preventative so they really don't get a, any bugs on them because if a, the ticks or fleas get on them they bite them they die so they don't and they're really good self rumors so they actually don't bring it back home either I check Kelly every time we go out into the forest and come back because my side of the road is a little less uh, modernized than here it's all forest and dirt so far been working on that but this pet flea comb is stainless steel and it's purple, my favorite color, which is cool, um, but really good. So I haven't needed to use it, but it's nice to have it. So I'm excited to give that a try if the need presents. And the last thing that we got in this is a magnetic hook. Now this is super cute. It is, if this one looks like a fox, and it's a magnet, so the back magnetizes. We already tested it out on the fridge. They do come in other critters, like there it shows this other dog on there. Um, but then you can hook, you just bend the tail up and make it into a hook so you can like hang things on your fridge. You can hook your keys or um, gosh, just about anything. But they're really cute and they're kind of a rubbery, like silicone kind of thing but they stick really well onto the fridge. So you can just use it as a decoration or as a functional little hook, which is really cute. Yeah, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.